Drake lost, but another guy who doesn't lose is this dude, Kevin Garnett. So this prompted me to bring yeah. up this topic. But KG was out here talking about how he was killing dudes one-on-one, -on -one and he wants the guys to now play one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this video, Travis. That's Look at awesome. him just going back and People forth People forget how dynamic of a, of a playmaker he was. He was ahead of his time. Yeah. In this NBA, like he, he was kind of Wemby-ish in a way. Like, look, Jason Kidd, great defender. Yeah. He can't do anything with no. him. Like, crosses him up, got him moving. I think he's going to shoot the J right over him after this. But, like, damn. Bro, one on one. How do you guard that? One on one full court basketball is diabolical. Yeah. And then you're just getting these fresh dudes off the bench and you're just out there huffing and puffing. Huffing and, and puffing, getting a bucket. So it made me start thinking, all right, Travis, uh, what do you think is the best uh, player? For one-on-one? -on -one. One-on-one. Let's do a draft. I think you wanted me to take the first pick for this Team USA team. Okay. So just think about that, and I'm going to start off with the first pick. And you know I love to give my little rants whenever I take the first pick. I'm yeah. cooking up. I'm cooking up. I hope you don't take who I want. So I'm going to take the kid from Washington, D.C. Hey. Slimothy, Mr. Reaper, Fair. Kevin Wayne Durant with the first pick respect. in this draft. Respect. Respect. I don't hate that. Um, I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, it's tough to – what are you going to do with him? He can shoot over Nothing. you. He can go by you. He does he, – he will defend you. That's a, that's a really good pick. Yep. I'll go Anthony Edwards. Um, oh. I just think – Oh. I think the mentality mixed with his athleticism, shooting worries me a bit uh, in a one-on-one. -on -one, but if you decide, look, I, I'm going to let this guy shoot. I can't have him go by me and dunk on my face and yell obscenities at me. <laughs> if you give him the shot, I think he can knock that down if he gets hot. So I'll go Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards this high? Yeah, I don't bro. even have him in my top three, Travis. You tripping. I'm not, but all right. With the next pick, I'm going to take another wing that's dynamic. I love the two-way guys. KD, we know he can block shots. He can guard any of these guys, and he can do the same. So I, I don't hate that pick, but I'm going to take Kawhi Leonard with the, third, yeah. with the third pick in this draft. I mean, Kawhi's typical, right? Like, you just don't know. Is he even going to care? <laughs> like, he might get out there and be like, check What ball. is it, the braids? Right, like, <laughs> check ball. Whatever. I mean, you can shoot it if you want. <laughs> you want me to shoot it? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, I lost. Oh, all right. Like, does he care? <laughs> all right. Um, I ain't going to hold you. Yep. Man, I'm seeing Steph. I'm seeing Braun. I'm seeing Joel Embiid. Man, look at him. Give me Jason Tatum, dog. No. He's 6'8". No, no. He's got an offensive bag. No. He can D you up. No. The only thing I don't know is, like, kind of like Kawhi, like, <sighs> will he get mad? Like, what happens if what happens if Tatum's trying to put a move on you, throw him a little elbow? Is Wait. he going to be like, oh, that's a ball, man? Or is he going to be like, hey, man, don't do that, and you do it again? And then next thing you know, you get an angry Jason Tatum. That, that's I, I kind of want an angry Jason Tatum in this one on one, but I like his his uh I do like his offensive bag. I'm going Jason Tatum. That's a horrible pick. And you know it's a horrible pick. That's way too early. Way too early. Like one on one, mano y mano, you're gonna take the guy that we've all sat here and looked at and thought to ourselves. Oh, is he tough enough? Is he got that fiery instinct in him? And you're gonna take him fourth. With Team USA, one of the greatest Team USA's, I should say, too. And all these great players. I got to get them mad somehow. Bro, I don't know on, how man. I'm going to do it. Come on, bro. I'm no. going to try to with, get them mad. With, uh, this is the easiest pick that I have next. With all the right. fifth pick, I'm taking Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis oh. can guard the guards. Yeah. He can guard the bigs. He can guard the forwards. One-on-one, -on -one, his back, he can shoot over these dudes. He's willing to be physical in the paint. Yeah, I, I, It's so easy, but I got to take AD5 here. I can't believe you still. JT? <laughs> oh, right. my God. Again, I have Steph. I have Braun. I'm not going to either. I'm going Devin Booker. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, 
with the offensive gifts that this guy has? Are you kidding me? I'm going Devin Booker. He can do it all. Yeah. Except maybe defend. Yeah. I, I like Book here. I, I don't have a problem with that pick. I don't think I would have taken him before I take this next guy, but I got to show love to the bigs once again. And this is a dude who's dynamic. So with the seventh pick, I'm going to take the guy out of Miami. Sorry, Boston fans. But I need Bam Adebayo. I think he has a – he. there's no one on this list that he can't guard. That's for sure. Me and you talked a little bit about this before, and his offense is the question mark. But I think he has a mid-range game that's good enough to get it done. So I'm taking him with seven. Okay, if you're keeping score here, Anthony yep. Davis, the Brow, and Bam Adebayo, both on Ante's team, which leaves Joel Embiid up for me yep. to have, and I'm still not going to draft his big ass. <laughs> Give me LeBron James. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, 6'9", 250, that is my big. Okay? Braun, go post up. If, if you get Steph Curry or, or Tyrese Halliburton on you or something, go post their little ass up. And then if it's somebody your own size, like a Bam out of bio, cook him, put him in a blender, go to the cup. Yep. But likely, Braun at this age is just going to do that same old step back. The jab step, step back three, which will drive me nuts. But I'll take Braun. Yeah, if we were drafting this as like a team, like a team versus one on one, you can only have one player on the court, you right. know, type of situation. I like that pick. And with that in mind, I'm going to take a, the greatest shoot point guard of all yeah. time. I got to take the greatest shooter I'm because once we, he touches the ball, there's no question about yeah, us no. not, <laughs> no one's getting the stop. So, he's not missing. Yeah, he's not missing. He can't he, guard. Yeah. But he ain't missing no he, shots. He's going to have a tough time guarding everybody on this yeah. list, but. He's definitely scoring, and nobody's guarding him. So yeah, that, it's I, almost like whoever has the ball first wins. Yeah, so I'm taking Wardell, Stephen Curry. I like it. With the ninth pick. So who's that leave? Drew Holiday, Tyrese Halliburton, and Bead. And that's it, right? Yep. Damn. I guess I'll take Joel Embiid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he guesses he'll I take him. I don't want him. him. He'll, he guesses he He's takes so him. He's so slow, dog. He's too slow. I think you got a great player. He's. I think he's in that Curry camp. I think he would have a tough time yeah. guarding everybody in this yes. just because of, like, being out on the but perimeter. But he'll post up whoever. But, he, yeah, he'll post up whoever, and no one's stopping him. That's for sure. You All get right, the you ball. Want, Drew or Tyrese? I'm taking T Drew. You know I'm not taking Tyrese. He's last. <laughs> Duh. I'm, I want Drew Holiday. I really wish I could have taken him earlier. He's great. He's stopping. He's guarding a lot of the dudes here. You put the ball in front of him, he's taking it from you. But Halliburton, I watched him dribble his ball, the ball off of his foot twice when Drew Holiday looked at him. So if I'm comparing the two, I'm definitely taking Drew. Why are you so hard on Tyrese Halliburton? Tyrese bro? sucks, bro. He has no back, no wiggle. He shouldn't even be on this team if we're being honest. I'm not trying to be a hater, but he should not be on Team USA. Oh, man. Oh, God. That's hilarious. So who would you rather have here, Jalen Brown than Tyrese? Uh, if we're going point guards, I mean, there's a lot of people. I would have rather had Chris Paul to be the facilitator oh, on this God. team yeah, as I a winner. you got to have a point, right? Yeah, like if you want a point, like a facilitator, like I would have definitely rather have him. Hell no. I'd rather have Tyrese Halliburton. 